Hey guys, Rolga or Taylor here, and I'm back with another division video. And in this one, I thought it'd be cool to go over loadouts and how they're going to work once we get the first expansion within year two content. So the first expansion is due to drop around July, August, sort of the summer time. And one of the main things we're getting within this expansion is loadouts. Now loadouts are what we've been asking for for many, many months now. And to finally see them in action was a breath of fresh air. They look exactly how we've all wanted them to, and they're gonna act just as we want as well. So I managed to grab this footage from the special report that was held on the first anniversary of the division. Of course, that is March the 8th. They held this special report to let us know some of the things we're getting within year two. So anyway, let's have a look at it. So as you can see, loadouts look very simple and like I've already said, exactly how we want. As you can see, you will have all the tabs at the top that you normally have within your inventory screen. So you have overview, character, pouches and appearance. But now before character and after overview, we're going to have the loadouts tab. And this is exactly where you can manage your loadouts, create loadouts and swap them on the fly. We should be getting six slots to save six different loadouts for you to choose from. Now I say should be because this is all a work in progress and they did say this was a very early build of loadouts. So just bear that in mind. So what does a loadout consist of? Well, obviously it saves the weapons and the gear, which is pretty obvious, but it does in fact save the skills that you want to use as well as the talents. This was a bit of a surprise to me because I didn't actually think of this. And when I saw it and that they mentioned that it would be doing this, it was a really cool feature to add. So during the current game, we know how much of a pain it is to make our build. You go into something and then you realize that you forgot to change the skills and talents. This feature is going to make the division so much easier for a lot of players and a lot more smoother. Along with saving the skills and talents, within gear it will also save the mods you have applied and that also applies to weapon mods. Now I'm not 100% sure if it carries over so if you have one weapon that uses a lot of mods, another weapon within a different loadout uses, whether they'll switch, so let's say you have an AK with a perfect extended mag, but you also have a loadout with a sniper rifle that also has the same magazine, will it switch weapons depending on the loadout you have, rather than you having two different magazines? I'm not quite sure, but if they did include that, I think that would be a very good move. My personal opinion, I think it would only make sense for them to include that, or else it does kind of defeat the object of saving a loadout. Another cool feature is comparing the loadout. So if you select one, you can hover over another and compare it. This would compare the firearms, the stamina, and the electronics, so you know how it's gonna act when you select it. Along with comparing, they're also looking at adding a feature where you can kind of create a loadout without having the gear, and then once you farm the gear, it will slot into that loadout. A very cool idea, and a few other games do this. So it kind of helps the newer players build gear sets without actually having the gear set pieces and then gives them an aim to farm for certain pieces. They could do so much with the loadout system. One idea I had was actually giving us a challenge where we have to use a specific loadout and we can only do said challenge if we have the gear to create that loadout. So let's say we have to complete Lexington on challenging with a Firecrest loadout and a certain selection of weapons. The way we would activate this challenge is once that loadout is complete within our inventory. That's just one idea I had and I think it would be a really cool way of doing it. To use a loadout, all we have to simply have is the equipment in our inventory. We can switch on the fly, all we'd have to do is pause, go to the loadout selection, select which loadout and then apply it. Once you're done, you're ready to rock. I think a lot of people are just letting this go over their heads. I mean, how interesting is it going to make certain game modes? For example, last stand, we're losing, we don't have any healers on our team, a few people could quickly go into their loadouts, select their healer build, and maybe turn the game around. Guys, remember, let's just look into things with an open mind and wait for us to get our hands on it. But I do hope you enjoyed this video on loadouts and me giving you a bit more of an in-depth look into them as well as giving you my opinions on it. As always guys, I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did, you can let me know by either clicking the like button or leaving me a comment. If you're new around here and want to see more Division content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.